Hello and welcome to LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about operator precedence. Operator precedence has to do with which uh, equation is going to run before another equation. For example, exponent will run before any other um, operator in an equation. So if you look at our list we have on our website here, exponent is on the top. So that will always run before anything else. Now if you went down to the second line, we got uh, multiplication, true division, module, and then uh, floor division. Well, in this case, if you had a multiplication and division, it would run left to right. So if you had a multiplication problem first and then divided it by a certain number, multiplication would run first and then division. Now if you had a multiplication and an addition or a subtraction, multiplication would run first no matter where it was in the equation. And then the multiplication or the addition and subtraction would run. So let's take a look at a couple scenarios here. So if we did 5 exponent or power of 6 minus 3, we're going to get the exponent to run first here and then minus it by 3. Hit return. Um, the way to check it, how this actually worked is we know we minus it by 3, so let's just do 5 to the power of 6, return, and it's 15,625, and we minus it by 3, so that's how we got 15,622. Alright, that's a pretty simple one. So how about, uh, so we know exponent will always run before any other equation. Let's look at, what if we do 5 times 6 divided by 2? Now, in this scenario, it's going to run from left to right. So we'll run the multiplication first and then divide whatever this number is here, which is 30, by 2. So we should get 15. Hit return, we get 15. Pretty cool, right? And another way you can check that is 5 times 6, you get 30, and then 30 divided by 2, you get 15. So that's how it works. So what happened if we did, just to prove that this is how it actually works, we do... Uh, 2 divided by, uh, let's not use 2, let's use 10 divided by 2 times 5, hit return, you get 25. Now what happened there? Well, we ran left to right, so we divided 10 by 2, which is 5, and then times it by 5, and we get 25. Alright, um, and if you're wondering how the float numbers come up, we've discussed this before, just a little reminder, when you divide by true division, which this indicates true division, you always get a floating point number. So that's how we get the floating point number here. Now what happens if we do 6 times 5 plus 3? All right, 6 times 5 would be 30, and then plus 3. Hit return, 33. All right, multiplication always runs beforehand. So let's do 5 plus 3 times... Uh, 3. So we do 5 plus 3 times 3. So what's going to happen with this equation? Well, multiplication is always going to run first. So we're going to get 3 times 3 is 9, plus 5 is 14. Alright, so in this scenario, you're not going to have the left to right um, equation. You're not going to have 5 plus 3, which would be 8, and then times that by 3, which is 24. It doesn't work that way. Multiplication always has the precedence. How about 5 plus 5, we make 10 minus 5, we get what? We get 5. Runs left to right. So that's the order of operator presence in um, Python. It's pretty simple, but it's important to remember how the operators will run. Because your equation could change depending on how you set it up. If you're expecting it to do one thing and the order of operation goes a different way, your equation or your program might be spitting back numbers you don't uh, expect. So it's important to understand what comes first and then what comes next and how it's going to run if they're all in the same uh, presence, uh, like uh, multiplication division, so that would run left to right. Uh, there's a way that for us to adjust this, and we're going to look at that in the next tutorial. And we'll see you in that one. Don't forget to subscribe. Like, uh, give us a like if you liked the video, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave 
either on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Have a nice day.